Hi there, this is Jessica, and um, today I'm going to show you how to create a queue in Scratch. So here we're looking at the editor, it's empty. We first of all, let's expand this uh, the drawing area. You can click on this. So what I did was I just click on this little arrow to expand or to change the uh, the area to, to make it bigger or smaller. So first of all, Let's make sure that we are in vector mode. Now we're already in vector mode, so when you're in vector mode, you will see these selections. The reshape, um, and then the rectangle, and the ellipse with the uh, these little dots at the the vertices. If you switch back to convert to bitmap, the selection will be from on the left hand side, and it won't have those um, selection that have dots around the, the dots at the vertices. So go back to convert to vector. And we wanted to select the rectangle. Rectangle. So with this you can see that there's already a handle. You can rotate. You can um, make it bigger. So I'm just going to keep it this way, but tilt a little to create a 3D effect. And I'm going to copy or duplicate. Pick the stamp icon and duplicate it. And now I'm going to create a copy, another copy of the top. And what's cool is I'm going to use the reshape um, tool to reshape it, so click on reshape and you can move these vertices, move this vertice in so that these your box, this, this length is exactly the same as that and so is this, so remember they're all copy of each other and the same thing on the side, we we'll make a copy, move it, o move it over, make sure they're aligned, select the reshape tools bring this down bring this down you can connect it's almost like uh, putting Legos together except that you can shape this Lego now how cool is that so again I'm gonna make a copy of this guy and move it over here make a copy of the side move it to the back the reason why I have to create the square instead of just use the line is that if you want to fill in the color, it's much easier. Well, it's it's not possible except that you create you create a shape using these tools. So here is a quick example. So if you just draw the line using the line tool, we want to fill it and that works but if you draw this this line it's going to draw a quick one and now you wanted to fill say on top it doesn't always work see the top one now supposedly if if you could fill this top this top side you you should be able to fill this color like right here, now you see because of these, because the left cube or the left, um, the left uh, rectangle is made with these um, predefined shapes, so you can fill in the color. Anyway, so I'm gonna remove this guy, hit delete, and on this side, I'm gonna fill in the color, say blue. You can fill in the top. You can fill in the side, and you can fill in the the inside with the deep darker color. There you go. That is your very first cube. And also, by the way, you can also, of course, you can duplicate this, and you can go to you can change this the color of the second sphere, say the red one. And then, of course, you can also use the gradient to make it look more realistic.
say the light source is over here. Then you would do these and 